What's next for you to you? How do you feel? What's going in your mind right now? I feel great. Um, you know, the, the fight game, anyone that's been in the fight game long enough, they know that, you know, a big part of this game is your mentality going into the fight. My camp and my mental state in during the camp has been A1. So going into this fight, I feel great. I feel confident. And I'm just going to enjoy it, mate. You know, and a happy fight is a good fight. And at the moment, I'm happy and I'm enjoying the process and I'm loving being here. Well, just basically, just look at his chin, aim for it and hit it. That's it. Hit his chin, knock him out, and then get him the cool mayday. A dog fight. I've, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've experienced the bare knuckle. I've experienced being punched with a bare knuckle. I know what mindset it takes to be hit with a bare knuckle. And if you're not prepared for it or you haven't been hit with it, it's going to be a reality check. I don't care how many fights you've had. It's a reality check to be hit with a bare fist. Um, it's different. It's different. So what I expect is a fast-paced heavyweight fight i'm fit there's no excuses with my fitness my like i said my mental state's good my confidence is high not too high you always gotta have that little bit of doubt just to keep your keep you wary you know you've got to have that you know if you're too confident you're going to get caught with stupid stuff so it's always good just to have a little bit of doubt but the um i'm i'm completely just going to enjoy the process as it comes and like I said my fitness is good and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it all on the line mate that's that, you know that's that's my game plan like kill or be killed that's as simple as that that's my game plan going into this fight and I and, and I'm not scared to, to let, let it let people know that's my game plan so I'm coming to fight Bare knuckle is my um yeah it's the, I think that's the route I'm gonna go look down going I, I like it you know it's I just have to, you look at all of my wins, um, over 90% of my wins are through knockouts with my hands. So it says, that, that, that says, speaks for itself, you know, my, my biggest tools are my hands. Um, I, I love the fact that I don't have to worry about being taken down, being kicked. I can let my hands go without these other factors um, involved. So, um, yeah, I think the bare knuckle, and it's also, it's getting very big, very popular, and uh, it seems I'm a wanted man, so it seems we're going to be going down that route from now on. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, uh, the, it's great, because it's becoming, it's becoming mainstream now. Before, obviously, I've grown up with the brand, the bare knuckle scene, since I was a kid, you know, with, with the sort of traveler community the gypsy community and stuff back home you know a lot of my friends from that sort of community is you know I've, I've grown up around that that environment so but it was always underground it was always you know in a field or in a location where it, things went down no police were called nothing you know it was it was really underground it has been for years in the uk and now for it to see this sport coming into um the spotlight and becoming you know working its way into the mainstream is is it's good i like it everything everything and like i said that my hair's just stood up on end there mate that's that's your answer as soon as you said, ask me that question, what does this tournament mean? Winning it, my hair's just stood up on end. So that, that answers itself, I think. Well, let's go back to the early MMA days. You guys were like whooping the English with your wrestling, right? Not so much now because we've learned how to wrestle. So maybe, maybe the tides are uh, on the other foot now, you know? So we'll see. We'll see. But then, you know, that there is, again, bare knuckle is, is a lot of it is not just skill. A lot of it comes down to, like, you know, like I said, being hit with a bare fist is different. A lot of it comes down to heart, determination. And there's some tough American dudes out there as well, you know. I'm not going to sit here and kid and say, yeah, I'm going to walk through every American guy because, you know, there's some tough guys. Have you seen the guys in this tournament? Okay. You know what I mean? There's some monsters. You get hit by some of these guys. You don't know what's going to happen. So... 
I'm just looking forward to coming over to the pond, hopefully getting some American fans and um, entertain, entertain the American fans as well as the English and the British and just do my thing and enjoy the process. The, the pit reminds me of growing up on a rough council estate and you know, back in those days, you had to fight for respect. It's a similar sort of situation. Stay tuned tomorrow night and don't blink because, you know, you got virtually a whole card, apart from one or two fights, I believe, which is stacked with high level, big, heavy hitting knockout eyes. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting.